Hey guys, how's it going? Now, I have used a lot of gaming laptops out there, but when it comes to offering the most value for money package, Legion laptops usually rank at the top most of the time. But is that always the case? Well, this right here is the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro, the laptop that I've been using as my daily driver for over a month now. Now, the on paper specs of this machine show that it's a beast, but the question is, is this thing worth it? Let's find out. This is one from GTR and you're watching my in-depth review of the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. Let's get started. All right, so let's kick things off with the design here. If you've seen previous Legion laptops before, this should look quite similar. See, Lenovo has always had a signature design language with the Legion lineup, and this fits right in place. You have an aluminum lid and base, while the palm rest is made of plastic. You get a massive Legion logo at the back that does light up, and there are various logo brandings on the laptop as well. I personally admire how it's the perfect balance of the branding being there, but not being super loud or flashy or anything. I mean, obviously it's there and everyone who looks at it knows that it's a Legion laptop. But then again, it's kind of subtle and not super flashy. Now there's hardly any flex here, neither on the display nor on the keyboard. And that's a very good thing. It does weigh around 2.6 kg, so it's not exactly lightweight or anything, but I guess that's fine considering the horsepower that this thing packs in. You get these vents on both the sides of the laptop that not only add to the visual element, but also perform very well in terms of thermals. Of course, I'll talk more about the thermals in the performance section of this video, so stay tuned. In terms of I.O., Lenovo has gone all out. On the left side, you have a USB Type-C 3.1 port followed by a 3.5mm headphone jack. On to the right side, you get a USB Type-A 3.2 port followed by a physical webcam switch. Then, on to the back side, you get an RJ45 LAN port, a USB Type-C 3.1 port with support for USB power delivery, two USB Type-A 3.2 ports, a full-sized HDMI port, another USB Type-A 3.2 port that's always on, and finally, a proprietary power port. I mean, all of that is just bonkers. Like literally, you can just forget carrying a dongle with this kind of a package. I mean, at max, if you're a creator, you might want to carry an SD card reader because this thing is definitely great for creators as well. Like seriously, speaking of creators, you would love the panel on this laptop. Of course, it's a gaming laptop, so high refresh rate is there, but this is a beastly panel through and through. In fact, it's one of the rare laptops that I've tried in recent times that doesn't make you choose between resolution or refresh rate. You get 165Hz high refresh rate on a Quad HD panel with 100% sRGB and up to 73% Adobe RGB. Colors look amazing on this and you can even use the X-Rite Color Assistant to fine-tune it as per your preferences. The panel has great viewing angles and it goes all the way up to 500 nits of peak brightness. Add to that, this is a matte panel, so even outdoor usage under direct sunlight is not an issue. As for gaming, the panel also supports NVIDIA G-Sync, so gaming at high refresh rate is also accompanied with zero screen tearing. Next up, we have the keyboard here. And okay, that's another area where this laptop excels. See, because it's the same company, it borrows the keyboard from the ThinkPad lineup. And if you know anything about laptops, you know that ThinkPad has one of the best laptop keyboards out there. So yeah, this thing is pretty much the same. Like seriously, the typing experience on this is absolutely amazing. The key travel is nice, the feedback is great, and whether you're a typing enthusiast or a gamer, you would genuinely admire this keyboard. Now it has two brightness options for backlighting, though I found it to be rather dim than most laptops, so there's that. Also, speaking of backlighting, our unit right here was provided by the global team to us. So it has only the white backlit option. However, as a consumer, if you go out to purchase the Legion 5 Pro, there's a very high possibility that you can get it in the four zone RGB backlighting. I say very high possibility because yes, it is still something that varies from region to region. So make sure to check it out. Below it, we have the touchpad, which is about what you can expect from a good gaming laptop. It's decently sized, has a smooth surface for gestures, and the force touchpad works very well. Now, while I am a fan of having dedicated left and right buttons on gaming laptops, this is still fine, and I know most folks will anyway use a dedicated gaming mouse with this. When you do need a touchpad, this should be just fine, no complaints there. Now, in terms of camera, it's a 0.9 megapixel webcam here. As for the quality, well, 
being a one megapixel webcam here you can see that the footage is definitely a bit soft uh, the beard is not very well visible here but at the same time i think this should be fine if you even like not just for video calls but you can even use it for to some extent streaming uh, it's a decent camera and not bad obviously you'll have to put decent lighting here I mean, we are shooting in the studio so we have pretty good lighting conditions here so yeah if you use something like a ring light and yeah i mean then you can use the camera for your streaming purposes as well as for audio you get two bottom firing speakers on either side though they're slightly inclined and not fully bottom firing in terms of quality they're damn good the speakers get really loud and there's hardly any distortion at the peak volumes either Now you can also fine tune it if you want thanks to the Nahime companion app on board. Now speaking of apps on board the device comes with Windows 10 Home along with a licensed copy of Microsoft Office Home and Student 2019 and a month's trial of Xbox Game Pass. You also have the Lenovo Vantage software that's really handy for tuning the performance of the device and managing your warranty and stuff. Now I won't lie I still do prefer the massive number of options that are available on say ROG and MSI. but this app definitely looks cleaner in comparison to them so that's good there's also a lenovo hotkeys app for customizing your hotkeys as per your liking all right so now let's talk about performance we have the ryzen 7 5800h processor coupled with 32 gb of dual channel ddr4 ram clocked at 3200 megahertz you have the onboard radeon rx vega graphics and also dedicated nvidia rdx 3070 max q gpu we have a 1 terabyte nvme ssd here and just as you would expect by listening to all of those specs the performance here is absolutely top notch in terms of benchmarks the legion 5 pro is a monster unleashed you do need to change the settings from the vantage app to max performance but once done the laptop flies through benchmarks whether it's synthetic or gaming The best part here is that the machine stays quite cool even under heavy load. Even at the highest performance mode, the temps reached a peak of 85 degrees, which is excellent. And a balanced mode, the system automatically adjusts the TDP so you can drop the temps even more, which isn't an issue if you're going to be gaming at 1080p at times. Now under heavy loads, the laptop does get super loud thanks to its fans, and you do require a good pair of gaming headphones to silence out the noise. Now as for cooling, there's a dual fan setup here with plenty of heat pipes to keep things under check. As for upgradeability, you can replace the RAM, the Wi-Fi card, and the storage. Although there's an additional M2 slot for adding storage if you want. As for battery life, the laptop packs in a beefy 80 watt hour battery, which the company claims should last for eight hours. In a more realistic use case, you can actually squeeze about six hours from this, provided you use it on the hybrid mode, where the Vega graphics are being used in place of RTX 3070. See, personally, I find that a great tool because in hybrid mode, your main discrete graphic card is well turned off, and the Vega graphics is great for well slight image editing in Photoshop or even some basic editing in Premiere Pro. Obviously, when you're on the go, you will not be gaming, right? And it's obviously better to keep the RTX 3070 turned off. in that kind of a scenario as for charging although you can juice it up using a usb pd charger realistically the laptop comes with a massive brick charger i say brick cuz this thing is huge and weighs more than a kg itself so yeah so what's the verdict here well i think the legion 5 pro is an excellent machine for its price tag If you're a content creator though and you're eyeing this machine obviously other features will appeal to you but I would strongly advise getting the RTX 3060 variant I mean the only difference between this and that model is that it comes with an RTX 3060 GPU and just 16 GB of RAM which should be fine for most content creators out there obviously you can upgrade the RAM on your own also and to be very fair with you the RTX 3060 graphic card is great for editing and you can even do some gaming on that actually not some i think that's a very powerful card for 1080p gaming you should only look at this laptop if you're serious about quad hd gaming because that's the only part where the 3070 graphic card is a requirement for everyone else the cheaper variant is actually even far better value for money so yeah Go ahead and check it out from the link down there in the description box. Also, before you jump to any conclusions, just a heads up: all of the reviews and comparisons that you see on our channel are completely unbiased and not sponsored in any manner whatsoever. So when I say that the Legion 5 Pro is good, is because I genuinely feel that way, and not because any brand has paid me for that. 
it's my genuine and unbiased opinion and that is something that you can always rely on gta for and well that was it if you found this video helpful make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content till then this is one from gtr and i'll see you in the next one